Hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video and as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be the perfume lovers list. So this video actually was first filmed by Mojan here on YouTube and she got this idea from a YouTuber who posted something similar a few years ago but her version was in French so I'll leave both of their videos down below if you're interested in seeing them both but Mojan did do hers in English. So I thought it was an amazing idea to do and I told her I was going to go ahead and do it so she kind of made it a tag video as well I know y'all might be tired of tags but I thought these questions were so interesting I just wanted to show you guys how I would answer these questions with my fragrances in my collection so if you guys are interested in seeing the fragrances that I chose for these questions then go ahead and just keep on watching y'all so first things first go ahead and make sure you guys subscribe down below if you look down below and that button is red and it says subscribe go ahead and click it it's free free of charge and I think I'm pretty entertaining so that's that but if you are returning thank you so much for clicking back onto another video I truly appreciate you guys' support and we are on the road to 5k so I know I'm at like 4.3k right now so once we hit 5,000 subscribers I'm going to do a very generous giveaway I just want to show you guys how much I appreciate you all if you guys are interested in that go ahead and make sure you guys comment and you subscribe and you like these videos so that I know you like my fragrance content but let me stop rambling on I'm gonna go ahead and hop into these questions because I definitely want to make this video as short and sweet as possible we'll see cuz y'all know I can talk okay so the first question is are you faithful to a perfume and again this was in French originally and Mojan just translated it into English so Am I faithful to a perfume? And the answer is absolutely I am. There are perfumes that I have repurchased time and time and time again. But these two perfumes are literal staples in my collection. I cannot live without them. If they run low, if I'm getting low, I definitely have backups. So if you've seen my videos before, you've definitely seen both of these and y'all know how much I love them. And the first one is Chloe Nomad and the second is Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. So these two are the loves of my life. Like yes, they are completely different, but they are so special in my collection and I love them both equally, you guys. Chloe Nomad, the way I describe it, always, always, always is a grown woman scent. I think that this is a beautiful, mature, sophisticated fragrance. This to me, honestly, screams elegance but you are not too bougie but you can get there if you need to get there like I just think that this is just perfect all the way around I'm not gonna harp on this too much but this is a fragrance that I have to keep in my collection because she is a beautiful signature scent all around great fragrance every single season every single month of the year she's just beautiful so this is Chloe Nomad and again she's just a beautiful citrus woody earthy fragrance the citrus gives it a little bit of sweetness, but all in all, she's grown, y'all. Grown. Grown. <laughs> so my second is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. Again, some people say she's basic. I don't mind being basic, honestly. I don't mind smelling like other people. If I smell good, I smell good. I don't care if I smell like you. You know, I don't care if I smell like Susan. I don't care if I smell like Jasmine. Like, I don't care. Like, we all smell good so black opium of course you already know she's a gourmand she's coffee vanilla she's really dark deep seductive beautiful love her so i'm not gonna harp on these too much because y'all already know y'all already know how i feel about them so let's get into the next question y'all what was the last perfume you bought so <clears throat> i actually was supposed to be on a no buy from june 15th until august 1st but I kind of relapsed. There were some great deals going on. So I do have, um, you know, about five fragrances that I purchased. But, but they were great deals. <laughs> so this next fragrance is one that Amber Chantel here on YouTube, Maria, a.k.a. it's MJ, Takara, a.k.a. Takara Thompson, they all rave about this fragrance and I was like you know what you know what let me just get it a whole bunch of us fragrance lovers got this fragrance as well so I'm gonna say this how Maria says it because I just love her accent when she says this hear me out hear me out Roberto Cavalli <laughs> Gemma Paradiso <laughs> I don't know Roberto Cavalli Gemma Paradiso 
Y'all, this literally came in the mail today and I just sprayed it all over myself, literally. I can't give you guys a full in-depth like thought, but I can give you my first impression. What sticks out to me the most is the pear, the jasmine, and the vanilla. Like that's pretty much what I get and I think there's amber in this as well. I haven't really looked up the notes. I just wanted to see how it smelled on me. On my skin, I really get, like I said, the pear, the jasmine, the vanilla, and I believe there's some amber in this as well. You guys, this is a beautiful scent. I definitely see this being someone's signature scent, but this reminds me of something in my collection and I cannot put my finger on it. As soon as I just sniff through all my stuff, I'm gonna tell you guys what this smells like to me. But I did get her for a very great deal and I'm so happy that I got her because they just made me crave it. So the pear in this to me is like a green, fresh pear, very bright, very uplifting. And then the jasmine, of course, is jasmine. She's very beautiful, white floral. And then, of course, you know, the vanilla. But to me, the vanilla isn't a gourmand vanilla. I know Maria said this in one of her videos. This isn't a gourmand vanilla. It gives it more of a warmth on my skin. And it kind of gives it a little bit of sweetness because amber on me kind of comes off a little bit sweeter so yeah i love this fragrance and this is the newest fragrance in my collection literally a few hours old let me not say a few she's about 10 hours old so this is roberto cavalli gima di paradiso okay so question number three is what is your favorite category of fragrance and if you guys don't know me hi my name is Jeanne again hello <laughs> But I love, 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 love gourmands. I love gourmands and I love oriental fragrances. It was so hard for me to choose a category. Like, oh, I wanted to just do both. But I went ahead and stuck with gourmands because I really do love gourmands. So the two that I have been literally drooling over recently, they're not cheap. So I'm just going to warn you right now. They're not cheap fragrances. They are both niche fragrances. I'm sorry. But to me, niche houses, indie houses do the best gourmands in my opinion. If you disagree, go ahead and leave me down below some inexpensive gourmands you guys like. But to me, niche houses, indie houses are ones that literally kill the gourmand game for me and these two are ones that literally I have been wearing non-stop especially to bed because I like to get my gourmand kick in the summertime during the nighttime like when I sleep because I love gourmand so <sighs> these two babies they've been doing a thing for me for real this is the Zerjov Kasamarati Lyra and this is the House of Oud what about pop like y'all i'm gonna go through these quickly because i do want to incorporate these in my top gourmand videos once we get into like the fall and winter because that's when people tend to wear gourmands but again i wear gourmands whenever i feel like it because i do what i want <laughs> casa morati lira it smells to me like a orange creamsicle with caramel like that's what i get you get that literal orange creaminess and then this has a note of caramel like i love this fragrance this is literally a gourmand but this gourmand is not too heavy if you overspray her she gets heavy but you can wear her in the summertime probably for date night but you can definitely wear her summer nights you can wear her spring nights you can wear her of course fall and winter because I think that the citrus note in this kind of gives it like, okay, like you can wear me year round. Like you can do whatever you want. Again, I wear what I want when I want. But there are a lot of people who like to categorize their fragrances. My fragrances really are categorized by day and night. But again, this fragrance will be beautiful for a date night year round. I do think that the citrus in this really helps keep it relevant in all the seasons. But that caramel helps ground it in the fall and winter. So... This is Lyra by Cosmorati. Longevity, beautiful. I'm not going to get into a deep review. We're just answering questions, but this is one of my favorite gourmands at the moment. This next fragrance. Ooh. The House of Oud has been taking my heart. Just taking my heart, taking my money. Literally. This fragrance, you guys, literally smells like salty popcorn with like a caramel drizzle. Come on. 
First of all, the packaging. This fragrance is literally just salty popcorn with caramel drizzle. Let me spray this. This smells too good. It's like a buttery, salty popcorn. Buttery, salty popcorn with a caramel drizzle. It's very warm and captivating and just stunning. Like, it literally makes my mouth water. If you love salty popcorn fragrances, if you love popcorn fragrances, if you love gourmands, you would love this. And this is one that is not too sweet. I definitely can see a man wearing this. I can see a woman wearing this. Like, stunning. Like, this is beautiful. But, yeah, you guys, this is What About Pop by The House of Oud. And y'all beautiful spectacular love it so the next question is what is your favorite cocoon fragrance and mojan said it's like your boot up fragrance or your intimate fragrance and for me honestly you guys it's ariana grande cloud i love wearing her at home i love wearing her in the evening time people say she smells like 540 that's up to you but she's just a beautiful creamy coconut with a little bit of lavender and some sandalwood I just think that she's absolutely beautiful. This is literally one of my favorite celebrity fragrances. Like definitely top three. This is Ariana Grande Cloud and this is my favorite intimate fragrance along with some others. But this is one of my favorite intimate fragrances. It's really nice. Okay, so the next fragrance is your favorite working girl fragrance. So this fragrance was really hard for me to choose because I already chose Chloe Nomani. Y'all already know I love her so much for everything. But I went ahead and I chose Gucci Flora. And I want to go ahead and give WeThrift.com a shout out because they were so generous and they sent me this fragrance. So thank you WeThrift.com for sending me this fragrance. They are a website that has relevant and authentic coupon codes for many websites you guys and they work so i used them a couple times after they reached out to me to make sure that they were legit and they were so i'll leave a link to them down below it's not a commissioning link whatsoever so you guys go ahead and check out that link if you guys want to see more coupons if you haven't seen them for your favorite stores maybe they will have them so thank you again we thrift for sending me this fragrance and this portion of the video is not sponsored they just sent me this fragrance but you guys I love 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 this fragrance I've had this before I just decided to you know get another bottle and this literally is just like a fruity floral that's slightly musky y'all already know I don't like powdery scents but this works this has rose peony this also has I believe mandarin orange or orange and this for sure has pear I love all those notes and to me, this is just a sophisticated fragrance. It kind of comes off as like apple juice, but not that sweet. This is just absolutely stunning. I think that this is great for the workplace. This will not offend people unless you like douse yourself in it. But this is definitely work appropriate. And I think that a lot of women would enjoy this. I don't hear many people talking about this, but this is a great fragrance. So check this out if you want to get another work appropriate option. This is absolutely stunning. So Gucci Flora is beautiful. The next question is, what is your seductive fragrance? And again, I already mentioned black opium. I love black opium. Y'all already know what it is, but my seductive scent that I went ahead and chose is Maison Lancome Eau Bouquet. This fragrance is sexy, honey. If you don't have Oud Bouquet, I also have Chagaf Oud, but I don't want to bring both of them out. Either one will do. I just think Oud is so sexy and luxe, but this also has praline. Oh my gosh, this, oh, it's just beautiful and it lasts a lifetime. Now, I do have a decant of the OG formula, but that to me smells very similar to Chagaf Oud. I think Oud Bouquet, the new formulation, smells more like kind of like a watered down version but it's still very strong so i think that if you are very new to oud this will be kind of more in your face but it's a more approachable way to the oud bouquet life but this is absolutely stunning oh it has my fingerprints on it but this is stunning very seductive very alluring very sexy a strong woman has to wear this because if you're not secure with yourself then this fragrance is going to overpower you just like i like it <laughs> but this is maison lancome Eau bouquet absolutely stunning i love this fragrance you guys my seductive scent 
Okay, so the next question is, what is your favorite men's fragrance you like to wear? And this fragrance is technically marketed towards men, but I believe that it's unisex. I know that they have a female version and like their very expensive version. This is an expensive fragrance, by the way. But this is Creation E Parfum Cologne by Roja Parfums. And this fragrance you guys i love 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 i cannot talk more about this because this is just it's it's beautiful this fragrance literally is a woody cherry coke it's a woody cherry coke it literally i gotta spray this this smells literally like woody cherry coke yes it, you even get the little fizz like it's crazy this it smells amazing. It's not too masculine. It's not too feminine. It's literally right down the middle in unisex. I think that a man can pull this off and smell fantastic. I think a woman could wear this fragrance and smell so beautiful. Y'all, it's absolutely stunning. I love this fragrance and I will always have a bottle of this in my collection. I probably won't even go through this because this is massive, but this ain't cheap, y'all. This is not a cheap fragrance. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. But this is absolutely beautiful. If you want to get your guy or your gal something, get this fragrance. A Woody Cherry Coke. Oh, if you're in Europe, I believe it's called Enigma over there. But here in the U.S., it's called Creation E. So the next question is the cult favorite fragrance you also love. And y'all, this fragrance is one that literally literally i'm talking about over youtube like not necessarily the female sector but also the male sector there are a lot of reviewers who love this fragrance and this is mason martin margiela the replica line and this is by the fireplace y'all this is popular for great reason great reason stunning fragrance absolutely beautiful in the fall Especially the winter, you need this fragrance in your life. This is an eau de toilette concentration, but this is beast mode, honey. This is you literally by a fireplace roasting candied chestnuts over the fire. Beautiful. I'm not going to talk more about it because if y'all don't know about this, y'all need to get to know it. The next question is your next fragrance either on its way or on your wish list. So I do have a very long wish list of what I want, but I'm going to let you guys know this fragrance will be in my collection as soon as this no is up. You better believe that. You better believe that. So the fragrance that is on my wish list and one that I'm going to get as soon as as this no buy is up it's called tijota and i forgot who it's by i'm gonna put a picture up here because y'all i'm talking about a lot of fragrances but it's called tijota and i really really want this fragrance i heard sebastian from smelling great fragrances talk about this and y'all i was sold so ho hold so that is on my wish list. I'm actually going to do a wish list video. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead and leave me hashtag wish list down below because I would love to get this out to you guys because I have a really, really long wish list and I have designer and niche fragrances on that list. Okay, so that's that. Last but certainly not least, the last question is a fragrance you hate. And hate is a strong word. Hate is a very, very strong word, but I know, I know y'all gonna come for me in the comments. I'm ready for it. I know, but this fragrance isn't one that I necessarily hate. It's just one that I love having in my collection, but I don't wear. And it's because I like the flankers more. Like I really enjoy the flankers more and I think that they're a little bit more wearable, but let me stop rambling because this video is probably long as hell. So... Alien, Alien by Terry Mugler. I, I love the way that this fragrance smells. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a very, very in your face fragrance. It is a, you better have my money fragrance. But I don't, I, I like it. I use it. I do. I like it. I enjoy it. I just don't use it enough and I don't want to say I hate it, but it's like we have a love-hate relationship. Like, sometimes I just want to sell her, and the other times I want to give her away, and the other times I'm like, no, nah, I need to keep you close because you're very beautiful. Like, 
I don't want to get too deep into it because I'm probably like already pissing y'all off. So this is my hate. All right, you guys, I hope I didn't talk your heads off. I feel like I've talked forever because my mouth is dry as hell. So I'm starting this new thing where I'm quizzing y'all at the end of my videos and I'm going to tell you guys what to post in the comment section so that I know you guys made it all the way to the end. So go ahead and leave me a lipstick emoji. Leave me a lipstick emoji down below so that I know you guys made it this far and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I love you guys so so much.